Hey everybody, it's Dave. I just uh, did another live video just before this, and I uh, was removing all the rust off this old drum here. This is an old steel drum, and this one in particular is called a single guitar pan, or a single guitar. And um, it's interesting, these uh, instruments, it's only meant to have one drum, but with low notes. So it's actually kind of like a hand pan. Because uh, it uh, only has, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten notes on it. But, but it's, uh, you know, played with mallets and it's on a steel barrel. Um, and they use these single guitar steel drums uh, to play in a band that uh, usually have like pan around the neck kind of stuff where they're parading down the uh, street. Um, so one person would play this, another person would play a single second. Uh, like a harmony pan, and then somebody else would play a single tenor pan, which is a melody pan, uh, and then they have one that's a single bass. So this is a single guitar. It's really just in the key of G. Uh, I think it has D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C natural, C sharp, D, E. So there's only just a few notes on it to kind of give you some variation, so you might be able to play in the key of G, key of D, key of C, uh, that kind of thing. So anyway, I just removed all the uh, rust off of it with the uh, wire brush, and that always makes them go out of tune. So I'm going to tune it up uh, here real quick. Just to kind of get it back into tune. So I'm gonna start with the Ds. I just noticed my battery's low on my uh, phone, so this might cut out after a minute, so <laughs> good luck.
right, you can see I'm moving along with the tuning. Uh, I just tuned the Ds and the B. I'm focusing on trying to get all the harmonics, the octaves and the fifths and everything like that tuned in again. Um, so I, I noticed that the uh, battery is pretty low, but the next step after this would be painting the drum. So I'm going to tune it all up um, and get it retuned um, and then paint it. So if you paint it before you retune it, then what happens is uh, you get hammer marks all over the paint. So that's why you want to tune it first and then paint it second. Uh, with this kind of instrument, I'm just going to use a spray paint. Um, sometimes you can use powder coating or chrome plating also to finish a drum. Uh, chrome plating, though, uh, I would have taken it to the chrome plater right then, right after the rust, or actually even before the rust, because the chrome plater is going to do the exact same thing I just did with the uh, rust removal thing. They're going to take all the rust off, polish it, uh, put it into baths of acid, um, polish it again, and uh, then put it into the uh, chrome plating process. So chrome plating is super destructive, so you don't really need to fine tune it. Well, you want to fine tune it as close as you can, because after the chrome is applied, you don't want to go in there and aggressively work on the drum. You just want to kind of fine tune it up again after it's been chrome plated. But uh, it would look something like this if you took it to the chrome plater. Um, anyway, so I'm going to paint it. And uh, and after that, I'll give you a little shout out. Maybe I do another live video after it's uh, painted and show you what it looks like. So I'm going to keep working. Let's see what happens with this battery.
painting it. I'm going to paint silver, silver on top, make it hopefully black on the sides. Uh, the bottom is still all nasty rusty, but I might wipe that out and uh, paint it something as well. So uh, there you go, double guitar refurbishing project. Uh, have a great day. Ah, I dropped the camera.